Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. And I got to start with this because all of you ask me every single day in the comment section, when is it going to happen? This comes from Lord XRP. To build a whole new financial system, you need many years and a lot of actors in the background. Ripple is the chosen one and XRP will bridge it. But I think we are very close to the new financial system. In fact, this guy right here wants to fast track everything. That is the BIS general manager. He even says in the new system, you will be your own bank. The old system is dead. Take a listen to this. It is hard to see how useful financial innovation can really move forward. We have labeled our vision for the future financial system, the Finternet. I will leave it to Nandan to expand on it, uh, on it and explain the more technical aspects. But let me provide a broad overview. The Finternet is a vision of multiple financial ecosystems that connect, with the, that connect with each other, much like the internet. It aims to empower individuals and businesses by placing them at the center of, the fina of their financial lives. The application of technology has meant that tasks that were once expensive and time consuming, like making an overseas phone call or booking an hotel room in an unfamiliar city, can now be done with the flick of a finger. So everything that was once complicated is going to be very fast. He calls it the Finternet. And he said it brings multiple systems together. But inside of each of those financial systems is going to be locked up XRP inside of liquidity pools. And he, they're fast tracking this. They're no longer waiting for SWIFT. They want to get this done as soon as possible. Swiss Central Bank undertakes world's first tokenized monetary policy operation. They are also working with the World Bank and the BIS, meaning that they're most likely also working with Ripple as well. And everything is pushing towards tokeniza tokenization. Everything will be a token in the future. But guess what? You still have to move those tokens. What moves value? XRP. Ripple partner Standard Chartered absolutely nailed it. The criminals don't come to us. Remember in that last video I just said that Ripple, that XRP is built all around compliance. Take a listen to Standard Chartered right here. The, uh, we should have the mechanisms to make sure that they comply with the law. Um, and to the extent that we're involved with any of those things, and we are with, with Bitcoin uh, or with, with uh, cryptocurrencies, part of the reason that, that people are flooding, flooding into, into our ventures around cryptocurrencies right now is because we're institutional, because our compliance is unquestioned. Uh, the criminals don't come to us because they're not going to get an account. Uh, but people who are using these things for, for the right reasons, they're coming to institutional players like us and they're leaving the places that were a little bit wild west. And that the Wild West is ending and everything is now centered around compliance. It's going to be centered around regulations. That's going to lead to mass adoption. The institutions are not going to do shady business. It's just not going to happen. Then this happened today as well. Is this real? XRP just price glitched to $34,000. And once again... People are saying they're testing XRP in the background. But you know what's great about these price glitches? It brings hype and it brings euphoria to people. The, just the thought of XRP hitting these price points at some point in the future. But as long as you've been holding XRP, there's been glitch after glitch. And sometimes it makes you wonder, are they testing XRP in the background? at these different price points. The federal authority claims that cryptocurrencies are not effective as a unit of account, medium of exchange, or store of value. Like I said multiple times, 
they are changing the narrative around crypto around certain cryptocurrencies mostly bitcoin remember bitcoin was always the store of value but that narrative is changing and it's going to change even more once you can tokenize gold and move it around the world once tokenization comes there's no need for bitcoin anymore and people still don't realize that they always like to say well bitcoin's going to be around forever keep listening to that michael saylor rhetoric that he's always spewing that guy is most likely going to use retail as exit liquidity that will happen at some point in the future and again i'm going to use my own post here so it is clear that parallel crashes are coming one in the crypto world and one in the real world and it seems everyone is warning us in the crypto world it seems it will start with the fall of tether which will take bitcoin and most likely eth with it it's going to play a big factor in other cryptocurrencies as well in the real world it can start in commercial real estate the banking system or even the bond market now if tether was to crash out it would also play a major factor on usd the us dollar because tether is also tied to our bond market as well and our treasuries the real world crash will also factor into crypto because like it or not both worlds are connected how bad will the crash be how long will it last what will happen after why you should position yourself now so we now know a crash is coming most likely tether is going to crash out at some point over the coming months as mika like regulations go live in this country and that country eventually it's going to lose its peg and that i see that coming and i think that's going to happen by design but how bad will the crash actually be well if you look at the fall of ftx and the luna crash i think it's going to be 10 times worse than that how long will it last most likely in the crypto space it will recover very quick things seem to move quicker in the crypto space but what happens after is going to be something spectacular you're going to see the rise of usdc the rise of ripple's new stablecoin in the real world what's going to happen is most likely the commercial real estate market's going to crash out it's going to take residential with it and it's going to play a very big factor on the u.s dollar at the same time i think the crash that happens in the real world will most likely be 10 times as bad as what happened in 08 and you got to prepare for that and that's going to last for a period of time i think that's going to bring about the new financial system remember they always told you the power is going to go out or we're going to have the loss of the internet worldwide for a period of time they always like to say two weeks to four weeks and that goes back all the way before 2020 even but after 2020 things seem to accelerate everything now moves quicker than ever before i don't think we're going to need to have a worldwide power outage a worldwide internet outage for the new financial system to rise in fact i still think we're going to see a parallel system you're going to see the new digital system and the current financial system up and running at the same time but i think the tether crash will need to happen so that they fast track regulations they'll also tie it to bitcoin because bitcoin has no place in the future and you see that now and even the creators of bitcoin were the same creators of xrp they built a better bitcoin that's what xrp is but yet so many people in the crypto space are in denial about that but like i said at the end of this at the end of this post po both crashes have to happen to push us into the digital age and bring about a new financial system this is why investing in the right cryptocurrencies now is so important this time around since neither of these crashes were an issue in 2021 
but they are now an issue in 2024, things are about to get interesting. And it's true, back in 2021, with the last major run-up on Bitcoin, this was not talked about. Sure, all, people always knew that Tether could go down at some point, but not like it is now. Mika is going to change everything. And Mika is also going to bring the institutional players into crypto. That will lead to mass adoption. So as one system pushes out, a new system will rise. That's what I foresee coming at some point in the near future. But what are your thoughts on that? Put it in the comment section down below. And you know, as we push into the digital age and we do have digital money, something's going to have to move that digital money. It's going to be the bridge currency that we all hold, XRP. But this is why I invest in XRP and I don't invest in Bitcoin or Ethereum because there's multiple use cases for XRP. Take a listen to this right here. The five different use cases Ripple has with the project in the country of Georgia. I would say um, Georgia is taking a, uh, I think a fairly ambitious approach because we have five different use cases under consideration. So, you know, if you, if you take some of the countries, they're just doing like one solution, which is replacing cash. Um, with the digital Lari, there are... Uh, That's a similarity to replace the cash. Yeah, it's a digital the, form of cash. cash. Right, yeah. exactly. But th with this project, um, I think one of the distinctions about it is there's looking at um, tokenizing bonds. So retail consumers can get access to, to, bond, to, to bond securities. Um, looking at tokenizing real estate. Uh, there's a payroll um, element to the pilot. Um, and then there's an offline element. So yeah. this is where, you know, when you have your mobile phone, if you have no internet connection, you can still make purchases. So I would say um, each country is different, but the, what, the thing I like about the project here is it's a, quite a wide range of use cases. And take notice, he even pointed out that it, use, it, it can be used offline, as simple as using a mobile phone. And that's what I like about XRP. It's well-rounded. Multiple use cases can really be a factor on the price of XRP going forward. Uh-oh, inflation is getting to the point where they are moving to digital price tags that can change pricing at the shelf. So it looks like Walmart is going in this direction. Walmart and Amazon are moving into the digital age. That's what's going on. And we're going to see other stores follow as well. The digital age is here, and you can make a lot of money off of it by investing in the right way. The week ahead looks rough with what's going on. So U.S. economic data this week. Consumer confidence Tuesday. New home sales Wednesday. Quarter one GDP Thursday. Jobless claims on Thursday. Durable goods orders Thursday, pending home sales Thursday, core PCE inflation Friday, Chicago PMI Friday and consumer sediment on Friday as well. Hopefully they come out with some magical numbers that makes the market move. But you know, whatever economic data that they put out, it's whatever the public will buy. That's what it is. They want to make it sound like the U.S. economy is booming and that things are turning around. But every time you go to the store, things look like they're getting more expensive and things are still shrinking at the same time. We have inflation, shrinkflation, and the death of the dollar happening all in real time. The dollar is going to continue to lose value. That's a fact. Once the banks start collapsing out, and that is still coming as well, that's going to show the real strength of the, of the United States, where we actually are. One crisis is all it takes. And I think that will start to push the United States into the digital age, into the new financial system. But you know what else is going to happen? AI is going to continue to rise as well. Universal basic income is going to be talked about more and more as we push into the future. 
I see they're doing different pilots with UBI in the United States as well. But nobody understands UBI. They don't really get the point of UBI. They understand it's free money coming from the government. But if you end up on universal basic income, you will never be an entrepreneur. You will never be a small business owner. You will never be able to save for the future because all of that money, it, it disappears over time. It, you know, it expires. So you got to spend it as quick as you get it. And then at every, the beginning of every month, you will get a new allotment of universal basic income. You have to get rich and break away from that system before universal basic income gets here. That's why it's so important to stay invested into XRP and these other utility-driven cryptocurrencies. I think ISO just gave us the treasure map for the future. Whenever they put out those the compliant cryptocurrencies with ISO, that was your treasure map. If you invest in this handful of cryptocurrencies, you could stay off the CBDC system. You could stay off the universal basic income system. You will be rich in the future. That's what I think happened when they first announced ISO. Because those cryptocurrencies were chosen for a reason. And, you know, nothing's going to change my mind on that. Because I know that value still coming as well. And we'll talk more about that as we get closer to next year. But, you know, until it all happens, you got to stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.